Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Monday Maya modeling video. Well, today we're going to be looking at some concept work that I received from a customer and uh, it's very limited, but the outcome should be a, a science fiction transporter, kind of like a shuttle bus in space, if you will. All right. Now, because of the fact that the reference images are pretty basic, uh, there's some room uh, for me to uh, get creative. But keep in mind, it's a very first pass. It's a really rough block out of the model uh, just to get an idea of this is what the customer wants. OK, here we go. All right, guys. Well, we're in Maya 2018 and I loaded up reference images for um, my model. Uh, this is concept work for something that is supposed to be a, a sci fi transport module. Uh, I think the equivalent of, let's say, a shuttle bus, right? Um, so this is all I got. I don't have any uh, real backstory. I don't have any details, which is kind of nice because in this case, the client allows me to uh, apply some creative freedom, if you will, right? So uh, in keeping in mind that this is supposed to be a transporter, it's going to be a bit uh, square-ish, bulky and whatnot, but it is what it is, right? So let's start with a polygon cube. Now, uh, I can see from the front here, we've got top, bottom, side, side. So basically a simple cube. And what I'm going to do is just uh, stretch that out. And uh, let's see what we got. I'll start from this angle here. So I'm going to hit W and I'm going to bring this guy up here. And then I'm going to move it over. And I'm kind of following the bottom line of the model here to see how far that thing stays straight. Okay, so I'm uh, moving it over and that's about to about there. And then you need to tweak the top there, obviously. Um, so uh, let's do that. I'll take this, I'll push it back to that point right there. And then I'm gonna go in and take the front, take that face here, okay. Hit uh, Control E to extrude, W to move forward like this. And then because I got that face selected, I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna scale that down a bit and then hit W and push it down to the bottom. Now that scaling is a bit much, I think, but we'll see. We're gonna G to repeat. We're gonna push W to push it forward. And then I'm gonna hit R to scale it down again. And hit W to push it down to the floor once again. And we, I can tweak that later, okay? G to repeat, W to move forward one more time. We'll hit R to scale down. We'll hit W to move down. Scale it down a bit more. And then last time, G and W kind of to the point there. R to scale that way, way down. Okay. Let's make sure we don't cross that over. So that's a good start. And uh, of course, we need to tweak that all over the place, but that's okay. And then we're going to go into the back here. And we're going to hit Control E on that as well. We're going to hit W. We're going to pull that out. And let's have a look and see what we can do. So basically, same process. I'm going to hit R to scale that in, W to move that up, and then scale it in some more. I'm going to hit G to repeat, W to pull out, move that up, hit R and scale that in, and then G to repeat again. W to move out, W to move up, it's not too bad. And then let's see, I'll go in and insert edge loop option box, make sure it's set to single, it is. And we'll put one in, I would say right there. I'm gonna go in, hit Q on my keyboard, right click at a face, select this. Control E to extrude, W to push up. All right. And then let's uh, bring that down a bit, of course. And then we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag, select, and move that up here. And then we can tweak that if you like. We can go into Injured Edge Loop again. And then hit Q on a keyboard, go to vertex, drag, select, W. All right. So that's what we have so far. Like I said, a lot of tweaking to do, but basic, basic layout, okay? Now, uh, let's see what we've got going on here. The sides are not perfectly square. So looking at the front view here, a couple of things we need to tweak. 
looks like quite a few things, but that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our tail on the back here, and I'm actually going to do the tail, I think, manually. All right. So let's look at what we got going on here. Um, we need to uh, get to those corners. So let's take these two, hit R, and kind of stretch that out to get that main shape. The bottom is not too bad. And then uh, let's see. We got the doors flaring out, so it's not not too bad at all. Let's look and see what we got here. Now, for now, it's a flying box, right? We don't really want that, but again, it's a transporter. Uh, but let's see if we can help that a little bit. We're going to go in here and we're going to tweak the shape of the till. Now, there's not really an aerodynamic issue because you're in space, but it's human eye and we want something to look cool, so, or at least cool ish. So let's just take these edges here. And let's see if we can get creative with this a little bit. Okay, and now let's go in and take some vertices instead. So we can bring this in a bit, not too much. I would say something like that. Same here, we can do that, but be careful. Try to get some kind of flow going on there. And then this is of course uh, kind of a pain, the fact that that top is so big and clunky, uh, but we'll deal with that, all right? So let's take these two guys and kind of correct that line flow a little bit. I think that's not bad. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to go into, uh, into this loop again. We're going to set it to multiple and to three. And then we'll add three right here. Hit Q on our keyboard so we can go in and take this section right there. Hit W and pull that up. And that's going to have a huge impact on the on the model here. I'm not going to do that last section, maybe just this. Huge change on the design there. It's not really according to our uh, concept art, so hopefully uh, I'll get away with it. And then let's look at the front windshield. Now that has a lot of elements to it that make it look cool. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to take these faces. for wireframe mode, make sure I'm not selecting anything I shouldn't. There you go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the control E to extrude. I'm gonna tweak the offset a little bit to about there. G to repeat, W to push down. And that looks kind of neat, all right? And then from there, we are going to, actually let's hit control Z, it's easier, yeah. From there, we're gonna hit uh, G to repeat. We're gonna hit offset again, just a little. And then G to repeat and W to push up like so. And I'm trying to do something with an angle here, if that works out or not. And if not, I'll just have to fix it. I'm just gonna push it down again. And hopefully, customer's not going to be all over me. Just going to see how this pans out, okay? So I'm just going to push that down again. And again, it's just to add some detail, right? Okay, we're not quite there yet. Uh, you see that element with those lines in the front there? I think they're kind of cool. So I'm going to go into my modeling toolkit. And uh, actually, let's select our edges first. I'm going to select this guy. Now, we're going to go to modeling toolkit. Modeling, we're going to go to the multi cut and we're going to go from here to there to this corner right here. Yep. And hit enter. And then we're going to go from this guy to this guy to this corner right here. 
and hit enter as well. Okay. Then we're going to queue on our keyboard and we're going to go in here and I'm going to select the edges that create that triangle, if you will. Okay. And we're going to go to edit mesh and a bevel, which gives us this. We're going to hit Q on a keyboard and then we're going to go in and we're going to right click at a face and select the faces here. I think that's everything, yeah. And we're gonna hit Control E to extrude, and we're gonna hit W to pull up. And again, I want that to be at an angle, if possible, okay? So let's uh, angle it a little bit. Not quite sure how practical that is, but what I can do is, um, yeah, we'll angle a little bit. What I'll do is I'll hit W and I'll kind of bring it down a bit. So it's not that obvious. Okay. So we have that. Uh, let's see. I need to keep into account that there's a poly count budget as well. So let's not go crazy here. Uh, at the bottom, I'm going to take this section. And we're going to hit Control E to extrude. Let's hit W to move forward. and maybe R to scale it a bit, which is kind of in line with what we have going on in the front there. And uh, it's time to create wings, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Let's go in here and just um, do some element in the back there. So we need some kind of propulsion system, right? So we're gonna take these two guys and I'm gonna hit the Control E to extrude. Let's do some thickness here. like that and um, yeah I think it will kind of um, resemble the uh, the Apache I think let's see here and what we'll do next is we'll hit the control E to extrude we'll do the offset again we'll hit the G to repeat and then we'll do something like this okay right, cool okay so to give it the proper uh, proportions we need to start working on the wings and the doors now for the wings I'm gonna have a slightly different approach so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go to face and I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna control E to extrude and W to pull up which will give something like this okay and then we need to go in and at this point I'm kind of starting to move away from my uh, my model there but We'll see where this will take us. It's set to single still. So I'm gonna go in here and put one in, I would say right about there, all right? I'm gonna queue on my keyboard. And what I'm gonna do next is um, take this right here, Control E to extrude, W to pull out. Let's uh, pull that out and maybe slightly push that up just for effect purposes, I would say. And then we're going to go again in and I'm only uh, creating one. So let's go back in here and put a line in here. That's about right. Q on a keyboard. We're going to take this guy. We're going to control E again to extrude that. So let's uh, pull that out and let's push that way back here. And bring that down and the reason why I'm changing the shape here is there's very little room for the door the way the door is constructed in this concept image if you open the door it would hit that wing and you couldn't get out so I'm going with a slightly different approach here uh, to give it some room maybe we'll tweak it but we'll see so uh, that's all right I guess and then we're gonna go into insert edge loop and I'm gonna add one right there make that nice and thick Q on a keyboard, we're gonna go down here to face, control E to extrude, and W to push it down. 
And this is going to be pretty far from our original, but we'll see if we can uh, tweak it a bit. Okay. So I'm going to go into Vertex. I'm going to drag select all of this stuff. And first of all, let's bring it in a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to take all of this and we're going to kind of bring that down. No idea what's what that's going to do with my model here, but so far not too bad. We just need to fix this right here. That kind of depends on whether you want to have that line flow or not. I'm going to bring it a bit forward. I think that looks uh, kind of funky. So that's all right. And then we need to kind of address this. So we're going to go to vertex and I'm going to drag like these two. Let's kind of bring that in and take this and this and bring them together. Yeah, not bad. And then of course, to follow that line flow, we will push this back. All right. So that's what we got so far. So what about the cargo door? And uh, what about the bottom here? Because the bottom is something that we need to deal with, right? So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take these faces. Let's hit four for wireframe mode. Let's make sure I got nothing going on there that I shouldn't. All right. Hit five to go back. And what I'm going to do is hit uh, control E to extrude. Let's uh, bring it down a bit. And then we're going to tweak the offset just to break that line a little bit. Okay. So now we have that. Uh, let's see. We got our wing and so forth. Let's look at the doors. So let's see. For that, we're going to go and take our multi cut tool. And we're going to keep this, I would say, pretty much down here. So we'll go from there to there and then to there and then down here and then back here and back there. Okay. Now let's uh, see what we need to do to adjust that. Uh, but we're going to clean this up anyway. Okay. So I'm going to queue on my keyboard. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take these two. And as you notice, uh, we're working on this side right here. We're going to copy the whole thing over in a bit. All right. So let's hit the uh, control E to extrude. Let's hit W to pull that out like this. And uh, that would be about enough, I would say. And then we're going to go in and we're going to add another edge loop. Kind of nice uh, flow there, I think. Yeah. We're going to go in and I'm going to take these two faces, control E to extrude, play with the offset to kind of create that opening there. Not too much. G to repeat, W to push in. G to repeat, tweak that offset again. G to repeat, W to pull out. And that would be good. And then I'm going to take these two, control E to extrude, W to pull out. And let's just scale them down a bit just to get that panel look, all right? All right, so that's that. Uh, let's see um, what else we can do. Um, I would suggest to create another kind of window section here on the side, at least uh, partially, okay? So hit Control E to extrude. Let's do offset. And that kind of ties into that helicopter look where you got more visibility, you know, following next to your feet and so forth, okay? So we've got that. So we're going to hit um, a G to repeat. We're going to hit um, the thickness, but do a negative thickness like this. G to repeat again. Let's do the offset. Not too much. G to repeat one more time and just pull it out. Okay. Let's see if I'm happy with that or not. Not bad. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this guy in half. Uh, let's go in here and we're going to right click at a face and we're going to drag select all of that and delete it. 
okay and then we're gonna select this guy make sure the pivot point is where it should be on half right there and we're gonna go up to edit we're gonna go to duplicate special option box and I want negative one on X on scale and hit apply which will give us these two we're gonna go to mesh and uh, combine to make it one model and then we're gonna jump into the top here and we're gonna right click go to vertex drag select and go to mesh uh, edit mesh sorry merge 0 0.01 that's fine hit enter and we're good so uh let's see did i forget anything important um i think for a first pass to present to you uh, the client it's uh not bad i guess uh, something to work with so yeah that's what i'm going to uh, present and uh, we'll see what i get back okay well thank you guys very much for watching hopefully it inspired you to come up with your own ideas uh let me know what you come up with and that said thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that mh button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye